there is a continuous interaction between the organism and its environment. For the survival of the organism, it is a must for the organism to adapt itself according to the environment. Permanent changes that enable an organism to survive successfully in particular type of environment are called adaptation. Any characteristic, whether structural or functional, that is advantageous to a particular organism or the population is adaptation. Adaptation as a process has produced living forms in tune with the requirement of their total environment. Warming recognized three life forms in plants depending upon adaptations. These are mesophytes, xerophytes and hydrophytes. Mesophytes are plants which live under condition of normal environment. They have rigid and stout stem, leaves large and thin and rich in chlorophyll. Their leaves droop down at noon and again become erect the next morning. Xerophytes are adapted to desert conditions where there is scarcity of water. They show adaptation like extensive root system, the leaves become very small and form pinnae or leaflets. The leaves are covered with dense hair. Leaf surface is shining and has leathery texture. Xerophytes are further classified into four categories. Drought escaping or ephemerals. They have very short lifespan of few months and complete their life quickly setting seeds and disappear before dry season is to start. Drought evading. They evade or avoid drought due to their small size and prostrate habit. Drought resistant. They resist drought either by having small leaves or falling leaves. In Parkinsonia aculeata, the primary rachis is modified to spine. Secondary rachis becomes flat and philodic. In Australian acacia, the petiole or primary rachis is modified to filade which very much looks like a leaf. Actually, it is modified petiole or primary rachis. In casuarina, the branches are green and needle-like. Drought enduring. They endure or tolerate drought by storing plenty of water inside the stem. In opuntia, the stem becomes green, fleshy and leaf-like. This modification is called philoclad. The leaves are modified to spines. In cactus also, the stem becomes fleshy and succulent and leaves are reduced to spines. In aloe, the leaves store plenty of water and mucilage to resist drought. Spiny margin and tip of leaves is indicator of xerophytic nature. Agave americana, popularly called century plant, shows sword-like leaves with spiny tip. It flowers once in its lifetime, hence it is called monocarpic. Cocoloba has stem modified to philoclad and leaves are of short duration. Philoclad bears flowers. In Ruscus, true leaves are reduced to scales and branches look like leaves called cladodes. In asparagus, three leaf-like structures visible at each node are actually modified branches known as cladodes. Here also, true leaves are reduced to scale leaves. In Euphorbia tiruculi, the stem becomes leafless dark green in color and stores plenty of latex to endure dry conditions. Bryophyllum shows leaves with property of reproduction. 
The plants on mountains also show xerophytic adaptations due to rarefication of air and less atmospheric pressure. In pinus, the leaves are modified to needles. Hydrophytes are adapted to live successfully in aquatic habitats. Liminophila heterophila shows two types of leaves. Leaves submerged in water are dissected, while those above water surface are entire. In hydrilla, the roots are very poorly developed because the whole surface of the plant absorbs water. Vallisneria, a submerged hydrophyte, shows ribbon-like leaves and is well adapted for pollination in water. It has separate male and female plants. Female plant has ovary raised on spring, which uncoils after selecting her male partner so that seed setting can take place in mud. Icornia, an obnoxious exotic water weed, has swollen leaf base full of air and offsets for vegetative propagation. Offset is an adaptation for reproduction in water because seed setting is difficult in water. The leaves of water lily have waxy surface which acts as waterproof layer. For all organisms, adaptation is the law of life. In our life also, if we do not adapt ourselves to changing circumstances, our survival becomes difficult. We have to learn a lot from the plants as to how to survive in changing environment within tolerable limits.